What will be the turns out cigarettes are bad for us of our generation? Hearing loss from earbuds. Sitting for 8 plus hours a day. My lab used to have a daily notification that told us to stand up and stretch. Sitting is the new smoking. Hashtag butt cancer. The irony of course being that smoke breaks used to be the only excuse to stop sitting at work and take a break. I just go to the staff kitchen and eat my body weight and biscuits instead, great exercise. God forbid, computer screens. Otherwise we're super screwed. Not so much computer screens, as they can't really do any harm independently, but looking at anything close to your eyes for long periods of time can edit, Jesus I swear this is my most contested comment. It is really interesting hearing about both sides of this, studies show conflicting information but they seem to agree that if there is any damage it isn't permanent, and is either mostly psychological or just our eyes drying out or getting tired. I am enjoying all of these different viewpoints pun intended, but I just can't keep up amused. But looking at anything close to your eyes for long periods of time can so that means if I spend long periods of time looking at tits, they are doing harm to my eyes. Only if they are up in your face. I thought that was good for you D. Vitamin T. Titanus shot. Tit or anus? You don't get both. Not enough sleep. Former sleep researcher here, this is definitely the answer. We already know the numerous public health implications not only in lower grades for students, but also more medical errors, more traffic accidents, the cause of many plane crashes, etc. Yet it's still seen as a sign of weakness if you want to sleep a normal amount. Not to mention lack of sleep messes with your hormones and can be a factor in obesity, depression, breast cancer, and more. Edit, since a bunch of you are asking, the recommended hash of hours of sleep for most adults is 7 to 9. Second edit, the breast cancer thing is not necessarily true. There's been some new research since I left the field. Hearing loss isn't going to kill like cigarettes, but we sure beat the hell out of our ears via headphones. I'm 28, been playing in bands and using headphones since I was a preteen. Started experiencing tinnitus symptoms on a daily basis this year. I used to not think about loud noise but being around construction on the street is stressful now because I can feel when my ears are being abused. We still don't know how to repair inner ear damage so start wearing earplugs turning down your music devices now cause if you mess up your hearing, it's only the rest of your life. Samsung phones are always warning you of this when you listen to music. It automatically turns the volume down every so often and has a red bar in the extreme end of the volume graphic. All Android devices have this feature. I'm not sure about iPhone's edit, I stand corrected. It's been on every phone I've ever had, as far as I can remember. Edit 2, okay, I get it. Your phone doesn't have it, but your last phone did. The EU requires it. iPhones either do or don't and either haven't or have or will or won't. My inbox is a wash of like a 5050 split. Edit 3, I'm going to take the opportunity to add as much as everyone else to this conversation. I was going to reply to one of you about where to change this setting, but I can't find it now for some reason. I know that the warning only shows up when I have something plugged into my headphone jack and fiddle with the audio volume. It's been that way for my V10, G Vista, S3, and Kyocera Brigadier, at least. Maybe even the Motorola Droid Razor. Sugar. I really pray it's not LASIK eye surgery. My LASIK didn't go well. Frown, that was meant to be a crying face, but my eyes no longer make tears properly, even years later. Can you explain how it didn't go well? I get intense starbursts and halos at night, which means my stargazing and moongazing days are over. It also makes driving at night a nightmare. These were all possible complications that I'd been warned about, so I really only have myself to blame. Too bad I can't just load a save game though, and go back in time. Hey, me too. Makes me really sad remembering what fireworks and a full moon used to look like. Now they're just blurs in the sky. And having to go anywhere in the winter, when it's dark before 5 p.m., is super stressful. Edit, for all of you who have thought about getting LASIK, don't let my story dissuade you. This was a known risk given my unique eyeballs. It never hurts to talk to a doctor and evaluate your individual situation. It could be the best decision of your life. And. I'm never getting LASIK now. Glasses it is. 
My LASIK went really well, for you. My vision is fine, aside from occasional dry eyes, and it's so liberating never needing to worry about switching out glasses and contacts for doing sports or biking. Sing for me, boom. Best money I ever spent. Jesus the best case scenarios and worst case scenarios are really a mile apart here. Please don't be garlic bread. Bread makes you fat. Chicken isn't vegan. Well, of course not. But is gelato? It's milk and eggs, bitch. NBSP, edit, mom get the camera. You were once a vegan, now you will be gone. Edit, wowzers, my first gold. Thank you. Putting your entire life online and having it all stored forever. There's going to be an embarrassing digital paper trail for the next generation of MPS, senators and diplomats. I'd like to think that we'll get to the stage as a species where it won't matter that you made a comment on Twitter about wanting to eat your girlfriend's ass like a snack cake when you were 19 or because you once sent a photo of your breasts to a partner. But somehow I doubt it. That shit's going to end at least a couple of political careers before they even begin. Edit, ass reduction surgery. There's even the point that early on, they have no control over it. Parents start sharing stuff on social media as soon as they're born. It's possible that we'll have high-powered politicians who have pictures of their first big boy poop. On the internet somewhere. My sister-in-law has done this with my nephews. She's created Facebook pages for each of them where she writes accounts of their milestones as if it's them talking. It doesn't sit right with me. Report it. It violates Facebook's terms of service. Wow, I never thought of that. That would be one of those secrets I'd have to take to the grave. Turns out that filling the ocean with plastic refuse wasn't the smartest thing people in the early 21st century did. From 22nd century textbook. Some scientists say we're in the Plasticine era, it's kind of sad. Turns out shielding everyone from risk creates a lower risk acceptance threshold. Yes, absolutely as an example the most shielded kids usually go wild whenever they get an ounce of freedom most fundamentalist parents don't realize this kids that are too shielded from the world can't really function within it. While I agree on the fact that shielded children will go overboard with their first doses of independence, I think more damaging is the reluctance to take risk at opportune moments. I was super shielded but was too afraid and anxious of everything to go crazy when I got away. I eased my way into life. I have a hard time forgiving my parents now that I'm older. They basically socially handicapped me. Experience and practice is key. Just breathing. In 2010, 3.2 million deaths worldwide resulted from airpollutioncancer.org. London breaks yearly EU limits on pollution within weeks of the new year. The government had been sued for not doing enough. And yet they're still doing practically nothing, their best plan right now is to ban petrol and diesel vehicles in 2040. Edit, I believe it bans sales of new vehicles. Don't get me wrong, the government should be doing a lot more, but the improvement in the air qualities in our cities over the past century or so has been immense. Thankfully we're no longer in a situation where a bad smog can kill 4,000 people if not more. Turns out that your haters can dab back at you. What do you do when haters dab back? Send them a video of your lowest, deepest dab. Oh me me big boy. It's already happening, but low fat products. They are jacked up with sugar and not at all healthy for you. Also, I'm so happy that this war on fat is coming to an end. I literally eat ghee and avocados all day and lose weight. Edit, I didn't expect my comment to blow up. To clarify, yes, I know about caloric intake and its role in weight loss. I also know that fat loss doesn't equate to weight loss, and lastly, my comment pertains to the food and pharma industry's attack on healthy fats by claiming that eggs and fish are unhealthy, suggesting that people should consume low-fat items which were instead loaded with sugars and not healthy. Avocados all day you fool. You'll never be able to afford a house. I would give you gold for this comment, but I can't because I also eat avocados all day.